Hello. Hi. All right. I'm here. I have my new podcast mic that I haven't set up yet, but I unboxed it today. And woo! Pat on the back for doing something small to move toward the goal. It's not always about taking large steps. It's not set up yet, but I'm acting like it is. I'm happy. I got it here. It's on the desk, out of the box. So I'll be making progress on that. Um, what I want to talk to you today about is just you know, taking inventory of your life, assessing your life, and then taking just these small steps to help you to get back on track, to even get on track. Uh, not getting so consumed because things are not perfect and you didn't do everything that was on your plate. Sometimes we tend to overload ourselves and not realize that we keep adding things in, but we're not taking anything out to make room for these new things that are coming into our lives. So I'm saying this because I'm going through, you know, quite a few changes myself. And I realized that throughout the years, I've learned so much. Um, I'm so grateful that this lady came to my high school class, was it no middle school class, and she encouraged the students in this class to um, take advantage of opportunities when they come. I don't remember her name, but I know that she came to our French class and she studied in France. And I was just so mesmerized, like, wow, you studied in France and you speak French? To me, it was a whole nother world. And I was just thrown off. I mean, I was, I mean, not thrown off, but I was really inspired. And I remember one of the comments that she made saying how uh, when you get opportunities to do something, um, do it, seize it, take those opportunities when they come. So here I was just in seventh grade, what, 12, 13 years old, about the same age as my daughter now. And then my older two sons are about to get ready to go off to college. And I'm at this stage where I'm just reflecting even on my own experiences when I was their age. That advice that that lady gave me when she came to class was, um, it carried me through life and I continue to do it. I still don't know her name, I say thank you, but I want to be that type of person to others, hopefully inspire them to help them see beyond where they are, uh, places that they thought maybe they could never go or people don't live there. I remember the first time I met someone that lived in Egypt and I'm like, you live in Egypt? What do people in Egypt do? I mean, it's not that I'm, I was just, you know, I don't know. I just didn't know much of it. And to me, uh, living in Egypt just seems so um, old and it just, from what I saw at my early age, I just didn't have enough information to really think that people live normal lives in Egypt. So fast forward, um, getting on to high school, um, I've always, you know, tried to seize those opportunities, take advantage of opportunities that were presented. My high school, it was a mix with middle school and high school. So we started from sixth grade to 12th grade. I joined at seventh. And then it um, it was really good to see the upperclassmen and the activities that they were doing to prepare them for college. So I was learning, you know, they didn't know I was always soaking it all in. And at the time, I guess I probably didn't realize it either, but uh, we are products of our environments. And I must say that that environment um, has helped me out a whole lot in being able to take advantage of those opportunities. So um, when a recruiter came to my college campus, and he, um, Ricky Brown <laughs> at Kettering, sorry, Ricky. And uh, he told us about Kettering University and their co-op program and the things. I was just like, wow, really? And then I went to a conference, the National Society of Black Engineers, the NSBE conference. Uh, they had a conference in Flint, Michigan. And I'm like, wow, these are things that I can do. I can have a career working for a company. At the time, I didn't even know what a CEO was. So now here I am, years have passed, I've gone through, I even have my graduation picture here. Oh my, it's like about to get emotional. But it's, it's time to really just reflect and say, you know, not only do I want to consume all this um, inspiration that has helped me to get through to this point, but I'm praying and I'm hoping to be able to um, be a source of inspiration to the next generation and encouraging them to seize those opportunities when they have them before them not to allow fear to hold them back, not to hold, have fear to hold you back, but to keep an open mind and think, hey, maybe I could, but you're going to have to put in the work. It's not going to be handed out to you on a silver platter. You will have to work, but just believe that I could possibly do this and then put in the work necessary and see you know, how far that you're able to go. You'll be amazed at what you'll be able to do. Throughout that whole journey, you know, I've been able to travel overseas, now living. I never in my mind thought I'd be living over, you know, in Africa, um, living in first Kenya and then Nigeria and now Ghana. 
And then being able to travel to, I think, five different African countries. We have another African country that's coming up soon that hopefully I'll be able to go with my husband. Um, but um, it's, it's been a journey and I give God glory. Um, my faith in God has been really um, helpful in guiding me on this journey. Um, but I just want to, I think I said in a previous video, I, I read in one of my Bible verses where it was saying, you know, let God's roots grow down deep in you so you draw up nourishment from him. So let my roots grow down deep so that I draw up nourishment from you. And when I read it, it just meditated. And I think those were just some of my study notes from the Bible. It wasn't an actual scripture, but it was during that time. And I said, that's it. I want my roots to continue to grow deep in God's word. I want my roots to continue to grow deep into the woman that I was created to be so that I can be that conduit to be able to help and provide that shade and help others that are along the way. So if you are in this stage of life where you are doing an assessment on, you know, where am I? What do I want to do? I encourage you just start writing it out, you know. Um, get some paper, write it out, and then start taking action. You know, um, you don't have to do everything at once. Like I said, I got this podcast mic. It's been sitting on my desk. Actually, it was in another room. So I took it out of the room where I know I'm not going to use it and I moved it to a different room. That was a big achievement right there. And then now that it's here, I finally unboxed it. And then I said, okay, let me at least shoot one video without the microphone because I haven't got it done. But at least there's one video that's done. And then I'll continue to grow and learn through this process. So um, wherever you are on your stage, I encourage you to um, seize the opportunities around you. Start taking um, steps of faith. Just take one step at a time. And whatever you're able to accomplish, write it out. Cross it off that you got it done. I have this journal here that I started. Um, and I just wrote it out from my own journaling and reflection. It helps a whole lot. Um, I have to see how to be able to package it so that others can be able to do it. But just putting my wellness intentions for the week, you know, physical, spiritual, occupational, environmental, emotional, intellectual, financial, and social. And just being intentional about those areas of life where I want to um, be impactful and I want to, you know, really have an awareness of um, the whole um, wellness lifestyle of where do I stand personally is important. So I think getting it on paper, writing it down on paper, it's a good way of making a mind um, connection to what's happening and you're more living in the moment. Those things that you know you cannot do today, you just schedule it for the next day. So let the next day take care of itself. And today you're doing what you said you were going to do on this day and you go to bed with the satisfaction that, hey, I got this thing done. So um, with all these videos, and I don't want this to be long, uh, with all these videos, I just hope to share, like I said, a lot of the books that I've read, lessons learned, and I just want to begin to be that, like I said, that conduit to just share because I consume a lot. I'm always learning. I'm always trying to figure out how to make things work, trying different things. So um, I just want to be able to encourage you to awaken your inner awesomeness. That was a blog that I started earlier this year, so I need to go back and check the blog post. And, um, you know, be open to new ideas, new experiences, new people, and having a good time. All right. Uh, let me know if there's any specific uh, questions that you have for me. I'm going to be learning through this journey. You'll see my growth in the process. You see me slow down, ask me what happened. But uh, I'm, I'm excited and I'm going all out. And I just want to have fun, live life to the fullest and share whatever source of inspiration I can share with others and let them see, you know, my view of Africa, my view of, I wouldn't say all of Africa, because I live in Ghana. Ghana is not Africa. Ghana, Ghana is a country inside of Africa. Africa has, I think, like 54 different countries in there, but it's many countries inside of Africa. So I am in Ghana, and in Ghana, I have lived in um, two other countries. I mean, in Africa, I've lived in two other countries, and I guess that was Kenya and Nigeria. So I've traveled to other ones, but just letting you know. So for my students and for those who just don't know, I get it. <laughs> I totally get it. So I will try to be as transparent with you as possible without making you feel like, you know, I told me, don't make me feel stupid. OK, all right. There's just some things we just don't get. And I, I get it. You know, people exercise all the time. You know how to pump an exercise ball. Some people, they've never pumped the exercise. They don't know. And it, they forget what it's like to be a, a beginner. So if you have any questions, let me know. I love to hear from you. This is just the beginning. So woo, let's get it started. All right. So let me know. All right. Till next time. Hugs, love and blessings. Bye bye.